Hi, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, tired. I'm Ethan. Hi, everyone. My name is Ethan, and welcome to a brand new episode of Saint Reginald Zoo. As always, I am joined by the wonderful Wyatt Andrews Workshop and the amazing Just Goron. Hello, Hello guys. Hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, um, this episode, I'll be honest, there isn't that much uh, progress. I had a bit, uh, a minor heart surgery last week, <laughs> and apparently that takes longer to recover than like two days. Who would have thought? Why didn't anyone tell me that? <laughs> Um, so I, I, I really didn't have, <laughs> really didn't have the time to get everything done that I wanted to do. Um, but there's uh, good news either way. There's a new DLC coming up, the Twilight Pack. So at the end of this video, we're going to discuss it, and you'll finally know whether we are Team Edward oh or oh, Team. Oh, was China. literally you stole my thunder. <laughs> I was going to make that joke. It was going to be so <laughs> funny. <laughs> uh, See, we're, we're, out of we're the funny loop. people. <laughs> I am out of the loop. Oh god. Okay, so um, this is probably the last time we're going to visit this building. Um, but as much as I liked it, I kind of felt like something was missing. Um, mm -hmm. It kind of felt a little bit empty. So I went through all kinds of penguin houses, and I thought, and then I saw a lot of the this um, rock work and, and painting. So I decided, okay, let's let's just add that and make things a little more bit more fancy. Ooh. I did an initial concept of this. I, I'm still, I still want to do like a, a custom billboard, but the idea is that they would press buttons and then the light would light up for mm. the. Or you can make like a video so that like blinks randomly. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I also kind of fiddled with the paths a bit so that the people can actually come close to the oh damn i completely forgot that i was going to add signs here see this is oh my th god th this is how tired i've been for the last <laughs> week everyone i was like yes yes i'm gonna put signs here because we don't have any signs about the actual animals in the yeah. enclosures hey um, hey but you know what um flat screens are pretty commonly uh turned off at zoos either by exactly. on, either on purpose or they just kind of die over time so, we'll so yeah this is part of the lore this is totally realistic that that and uh, both screens going down at the same time is like yeah. it's like yeah, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. they're just they're in the same energy group and it's just exactly exactly yeah. shut off i do like this this is uh, yeah these oh my god the little <laughs> pip in the <laughs> yeah I, I oh we get an auto save. I've also worked a bit with and I hope someone comes here and shows nope. I added uh, on a few spots I added the typical um, memorial piece mm. so that they actually start watching stuff. Um, cool. And I also added like these these vista points. Sometimes they work and sometimes they don't work at all. It, yeah, I, I just yeah. want people to stop like standing right here and like, uh, hey, there's like, oh, now he, he's using it. Great. Let's go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, very fun detail. Um, the snail shell in the rock. Oh, yeah. Right over here. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. yeah. That's like awesome. That. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I was kind of struggling when I was working in this last episode. Um, just like how much fuller I wanted the interior to be in terms of like, detail on the walls um and you really um went the extra mile and this is everything i could have wanted yeah this 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 was also really what i uh had in mind like i was i really liked the signs that we had already but i it's it still felt too empty to, to me and then yeah. when i start throwing things against the wall it started to stick and that was <laughs> i'm happy sure. with the result her, her, her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've I've got one more thing, uh, two more things actually. Like this, um, there's supposed to be a secondary sign here. I I I eat. I'm pretty sure I had a sign here. I probably deleted it at a certain <laughs> point. In time. Someone part someone complained on my stream how I offered to help and then didn't exactly. have time. So I made time to help and then he didn't use it. <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure I had the sign, and I, act I think I, I think I deleted it more actually. It might have been part <laughs> I do of love what you did here, though. Yeah, it is incredible. It might have been part of a group that you deleted. By yeah, mistake. yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it's exactly that. Um, one of the things that I really liked uh, was making the. Um, I don't know what it's called in English. Wyatt, help me, please. This oh. results. <sighs> This all oh, scans God. together, so uh, like the plastic, uh, the plastic <laughs> rings. I think they might just be called rings. Yeah, yeah. It's for like cans and stuff. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's. Uh, there's there's going to be a sign here. I don't think we'll we'll revisit this house in the next episode. We'll just share some uh, pictures on Bro Nation. Go and join yeah. Bro Nation, everyone. It's, <laughs> yes. it's the best server out there. <laughs> Might as well be the only server. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I also made this little indoor viewing for the uh, the uh, other penguins that I still can't pronounce. <laughs> oh, very cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. Yes. That's nice. Yeah. This, is I, such like a, this whole build, like this, the Penguin Protection Institute specifically, is such like a fun like combination of all three of our styles and how much we've each like had our involvement with it it's so fun to finally see it like truly come together like this yeah and it was actually your um your habitat for the blue penguin where you could see people outside that yeah. inspired me to do this because you can you can sometimes spot people in the background as well and i really like that totally. yeah Works, <laughs> it brings it all together yeah Let's uh, let's take another look at something else, mm. and I'll walk on these benches because uh, you're, you're a child. You're a child. Because I'm a child. <laughs> like Goron, you've been to the zoo with me. I I kind of behaved like a child, didn't I? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I was dragging you along all the adventure trails more so. <laughs> <laughs> oh you, my god, you did the. What do you do? No, just okay? just. Just, I'm, I'm excited for this because you've been hyping it up for so many episodes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing! It's, it's, it's good enough for now. There's, there's more oh, that needs on. to be done. Yeah, come on, <laughs> come on. Get real. Everyone, bow down to the backstage king. Yeah, no, there's like so much missing don't right now. <laughs> just, just don't look at that. Yeah, she showed up. <laughs> no, yeah, look at this. So so um, I finally saw a picture of backstages for um, Shorebirds. Was it uh, Lukoshi who shared that with you? Uh, no, it was Kevin. Um, no, no, do a crap. Bukovus, something along those lines. Yes, uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> 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 you know who you are. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the backstage of that was pretty simple, so um, I just went for a very simple one as That's well. Cool. Reused some of the pieces. Um, this is an area that I still want to rework a bit because these um, pools aren't final yet, but okay. I was I was recovering, so I have uh, excuses for that. He was recovering, guys. <laughs> <laughs> This is the flamingo backstage, and of course, all the flamingos went outside. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you can see them through the window just now. <laughs> yeah, um, this is based on the Denver Zoo, actually. Um, they had they had these plans in here as well, and I think more and more zoos are trying to kind of spice up their backstages because during COVID, so many backstage tours were filmed um, that mm -hmm. I think people were like, okay, let's make this look a little bit more fancy than it actually is so that people don't think we <laughs> do we're abusing things. our animals. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah, that's why there's like plant pots in uh, here with all kinds of cool stuff. What are the like purple and white things? Aha! Looks oh. like bags of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mother. Oh. These are meant to be uh, bags of um, bird of food. food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes. Still and, though, like it looks like just like a like a bag of paper towel rolls. And it looks so <laughs> like, perfect. It kind of does. Um, and the thing on the open box. It, yes. This was also based on I think it was pictures of the Denver Zoo. Um, they use these kind of boxes to transport um, baby flamingos, so, uh, mm. flamingo chicks. Um, I really like that, so I, I just added these because there's just oh look, look at oh, that well <laughs> spooky yeah exactly. <laughs> I know. Turn around. Turn around. spooky how in theme with the upcoming yeah. DLC guys well done I'm gonna have to point out my joke you're ruining it 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I was just thinking, I don't know why those boxes reminded me of it, but we could make something like an incubator or something here. I don't know. Oh, if yeah. Use that, that for the for shorebirds, kind of too. That could be a good place to put it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I, I do still have the incubators for the um, penguins, so I could basically just put them here as well. Nice. Yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, sweet. Okay, so um, we're going to continue. I, I've done a few things. Dude, I love that door. Wait, is that an in-game door? Or? That's yeah, the that's classic an in -game door. door. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know why, it's... but it looked like the hinges were made out of... Uh, no, not the hinges. Yeah. Yeah, the, the handles were made out of hinge yeah, pieces. Yeah. Like. It, it works really well, though. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So uh, we have one of our cool bridges. Ooh. Our Phoebe Bridgers, as I called it. <laughs> Make that like the sponsor. Oh, this is so well done. That is sick, dude. <laughs> oh, the railing oh, is the so good. The railing. Oh, it's good. Someone, someone in the last episode said, like, "Yeah, can we I do know. like this level of detail for our was, railings?" That was my thought. I was like, "Did he listen to me for once?" Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I did. And it, 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 it's a very, very nicely sloped um, bridge. Like it took dirt. me like seventeen <laughs> attempts to finally get to what I have, but yeah. I'm super happy. Oh. This is great. Yeah, yeah detail it. level of detail maintained, I would say. I did my best. <laughs> that's incredible. Um, Whoa, what's that? It's yeah, so that's that's uh, an idea that I had. Oh, for... that, that's not even what I meant. I meant the little thing lying in the yeah, front. Yeah, a little submarine oh, looking yeah. thing. Oh yeah. Oh, I love the elephant in the in the post as well. <laughs> Thank you. I I've been working on like finishing this area up. I yeah. hope you don't mind, Goron. But yeah, no, like, of course. Just this was like. Like okay, when I'm I'm, I'm here anyway, so I'm, I'm going to fix it. Yeah. No, uh, I I stumbled upon a uh, a Pinterest um, post with like a bunch of elephant enrichment, and this was one of the pieces in uh, the enrichment. So if the elephant pushes this, there essentially comes food. Uh, come food there. Whoa, well, you know, <laughs> English. Yeah. There comes yeah. food out of this, uh, and I liked it that so much that I was like, okay, I'll just make a fake version of it and put it down here. Fantastic. It's so fun. I, I, like, I, like, I like doing that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I also like try to do an initial concept for the elephant house. I it had can some, change. Yeah, I had some concepts in mind that I'll share later on. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. Fantastic. I'm not and then, one yeah, for we'll... big architecture. So. <laughs> That's fine. Please, You're here please for the give jokes. concepts. It's okay. <laughs> Um, and there's like one more thing. Well, there's two more things, but like I didn't finish that yet. Um, but our great, uh, a great friend, Mr. White Andrews Workshop, uh, helped me out a bit, and he made his updated version to the playground. Yes, and I we, really love it. <laughs> could we could we possibly adjust the lighting somewhat? Oh yeah, sure. It's it a little mired in shadow, but. It's it's kind of at a rough angle. I would go to like, yeah, like seventeen maybe. I'm gonna try to get it. Bear with us. Bear with us. Technical difficulties. <laughs> so yeah, this go. is the endangered species playground. I love it. I okay. So I was talking about I saw certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't. I tried my best not to look at it too much. Uh, but I saw this, and I was like, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this design of this playground is actually very personal to me. It is directly based on a playground at Forsyth Park in Savannah, Georgia, which is where I live. And um, it was built relatively recently, and I adore the design. It has those little pine tree things, and the, oh. um, the shaded umbrellas, and this is yeah. This is the playground where you were like, oh, I saw this really cool playground. I want to make a yeah. picture of it, but I also don't want to be a creep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, there's some things that um, didn't quite transfer over because I was working um, in another version of the map, but uh, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, no we'll, we'll, we'll fix that in, uh, afterwards. That's all. Even it's that weird kid that says we while walking down a staircase. Wee! Wee! <laughs> yeah, um, lots you, of this... It, it, even does that in real life as well. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of this is derived from um, Goron's workshop set, um, the modular playground set. Um, 
but yeah. <laughs> so the the general I'm so tired guys. <laughs> the general. <laughs> Good episode title. Um, <laughs> the general. I'm so tired guys. Wait, what are the swings? <laughs> what are the swings made out of actually? Yeah. Okay. I, I was I, like, I was this is perfectly normal, and now I'm starting to think like, wait, no, it isn't. What? What is this? <laughs> So the um, the seats of the swings are made out of the parentheses. I just stacked a whole bunch of. Oh them. my god! Yeah. Oh, I don't. Oh I don't want to know. Oh, I don't. don't wanna... no I it's absolutely. Like oh, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. After after my last after the last stunt I pulled with the Home Depot sign, <laughs> I decided to be nice. Um, but yeah, um, the general theme um throughout the playground is like different habitats so with the swings you have the the gibbons and like the treetops and stuff and then going up that little rock steps you have sort of an alpine situation with the amor leopard and then going up there you have kind of a um little yeah get that out of the way oh i love the fencing here (laughs) yeah um oh yeah and then the the rudimentary fencing that's still there from the (laughs) from the last playground but um yeah the um a little a little like obstacle course with the logs and the grass and stuff that's meant to be like sort of open plains or deserts with the Sivalski horse and the oryx and then um this got kind of buried if we turn around there's um water it's, it's like fake water it's just like blue pavement that's oh. under, the, under the sand right now but um we've got like platy- platypi and um the crested newt and yeah oh i love that super cool Thank yeah, you, thank really you. Cool. My whole process thinking of it was just like, if I was a kid, like, what would be the most like awesome playground? And <laughs> I distinctly remember, because it's still a little fresh in my mind, I'm, I'm still pretty young, um, a little more like, I don't want to say dangerous, but like... Wee, wee, wee. Um, I don't <laughs> Go ahead, say, Wyatt. I'm totally not distracted. <laughs> I don't want to say dangerous, but um, a little more exploratory, like towards the water grassland area. Mm-hmm. Um, there's like a whole bunch of rock work and like a rope bridge and um, just things like that I think would be fun as a child. I tried to yeah. incorporate best I could. And then we've got kind of a tic-tac-toe thing with the, the bees up there. Mm-hmm. You like, sw- you like switch. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little difficult <laughs> to even fell. It. It's, it's not safe. Mode. He fell, he fell. <laughs> um, I, I mean, oh. Oh, um, no. The nightmare, yeah, that's the end. Nightmare episode. But um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I really like how it came out. It was a little two-day project, um, just to sort of get back in the groove because I've been dealing with some serious creative blocks. So yeah, yeah, I, I totally get that. Okay, super. Well, I mean, cool luckily about... we're getting a new DLC, so that should you know get those yeah, creative yeah. juices flowing again. <laughs> yes, there's one thing. Oh. Hello. Hello, Wyatt. Oh, yeah, it's, it's me. <laughs> it's I, I, did, I did one more thing. Oh, damn, I even, I, did, I even didn't finish this. Jesus. Um, so uh, this is going to be an office. And uh, yes, office uh, even says dibs. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has a very cool idea for what he wants to do with the office. So uh, hands off, everyone. <laughs> I absolutely adore the fact that you can see the tower even from oh, here. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. it's uh it's pretty amazing. I worked a bit on this area as well. Um, so that. Hello um, again, very cool railing. Oh, cool! Oh, oh thank you. My nice. my. Anyways, thank you, thank you people. <laughs> if uh, Mike was here, he would be flaming you. <laughs> oh God! If Mike still cares, but he doesn't. <laughs> Hello, doesn't. darkness, my own friend. <laughs> Now, this is uh, going to be the backstage area for the uh, elephants. And I have one little thing made. It's still work in progress. But it's something that I haven't seen anyone do yet. Oh, rotator. Oh, nice. A ERD, or an elephant res- restraining device, so that it would actually uh, push the elephant against the wall and then can slightly oh, so... tilt it. And all of these uh, should be openable so that you can actually reach specific spots. Still need to fiddle with it a bit, but uh, yeah, that's what I. Uh, um, this is a, a kind of the idea. This is the kind of stuff that I want to bring to this uh, indoor area. So, like, Super imagine cool. all the cool backstage. Wow, oh. <laughs> even you did such a good job on all of it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of good jobs, let's talk about the DLC. <laughs> that's, an, that's a Killer. weird transition. Killer segue. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm I'm going to be absolutely honest here. I'm I'm gonna let let put my view here because it's absolutely ha- hilarious every time. Like, can we can we go to like here. the can we go to like the front of it, like where the where the sign is? Not just oh, yeah. not not just for my sake, but just to see everything. <laughs> like yes, this. that's a lovely umbrella, even. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> you can see, my heart is really in this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's press G for a second. So that oh yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, slightly more we're professionals. We're professionals. We're, we're, we're absolute pros here. No, um, talking about the DLC. Um, it's this. It, <laughs> I am I am torn once again, and I'm kind of sad about that because for the past few DLCs, I've always been torn. Uh, Unlike last year, I've been always been super hyped about all the DLCs. Mm-hmm. I always see things that I really, really like, and then there are choices that were made that I really, really don't like. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm like super happy that we get bats, but then I'm like, no, why are they in an exhibit box? No. Yeah. Um, I, I, on one hand, really like the idea of holiday themed scenery because whether we like it or not, zoos have holiday. Yeah. We could yeah. do a. Um... We could do a boo at the zoo thing while we're still in October for this. Oh yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, Like those kind of things are things for in a zoo. But then, do I really need giant uh, mushrooms? Uh, Wombat gargoyle. (laughs) You've never been to. Oh no, I forget what it's called. There's there's a lovely like like gnome fiend zoo in the Netherlands. It's, oh, uh... I hate I hate this. I hate this because <laughs> every time we criticize this kind of stuff, every single time someone finds an example in the actually <laughs> Like I remember that we were talking about like, oh my god, those meerkat statues, those are way too over the top. No zoo would ever have them. And Pacha then shared a picture of a giant meerkat statue and I was like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm to, to sum up my opinion, I am a bit torn. Um, I think that once I get the actual DLC, I'll probably change my mind if it's in the same vein as the Euro pack. So if it's like, if if the new theme is has enough flexible pieces. Um, but yeah, some of the choices are not my thing, and I don't I don't think that's bad. I, 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 I love it too. Uh, elephant is doing weird shit. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. What, what what do you guys think? I uh, I am with you on the bats. That's for sure. I I honestly wouldn't care that much if we got freaking null exhibits. Give them to me. That's yeah. all I want, so I can just make my own stuff. Because I, I I saw someone say like, oh, it sucks that we only have them in a bat in, in a cave. Yeah. Are, especially fruit bats you often see in like free roaming houses, stuff like that as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, now I do. I have seen my uh, share yeah. of fruit bat caves, so I'm not that bummed about it. But just the lack of customizability of an exhibit is just a bummer. Yeah, I would not have. I would not have been opposed if they pulled a prehistoric kingdom and um, made gave gave you the option to turn off the enclosure yeah. itself. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I've I, been I, asking for that since day one yeah, <laughs> for all exhibits. exhibits. So. Yeah, and I think also like the the bad exhibit is going to be twenty by twelve, Quite which large, is yeah. huge. Yep. Um. So yeah, and I I th- we talked about this earlier, Wyatt. Like, I hope they still surprise us, but I think all of this is kind of pointing towards birds. Uh, yeah. Which like is an exciting DLC. thought, but like seeing how they've handled the bats, it makes it less exciting. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and I, I, I don't want to be a downer because I really like this game and I really... It's a thing, like, when I look at everything they've made for this DLC so far, I can't say that anything in it is bad because all of it is well-crafted and it looks good, but it's not the kind of things that I'm really looking for in a zoo game. So yeah. I just think... Wix is happy, um... though. <laughs> <laughs> Wix is really happy. I'm yeah. very, I'm also very happy for Wix. <laughs> yeah, because they, they're doing a really fantastic Lord of the Rings style oh, build, yeah. so any any fantasy pieces they can get are, you know, ideal. 
But um, I just think, because, you know, it's nocturnal animals, right? It should have just been the animal pack because it's that time of the year um, in terms of, like, the DLC rotation. So they sh we should have gotten seven animals in the exhibit. Or even do the seven animals and then give us the bats. And that would have been, like, a slight downside, but I still would have been happy. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... It, it, will, it will probably... Like, we're, we're a bit negative right now. And, and this all of this might change when we actually have the dlc ourselves yeah i would love to be proven wrong by the way yeah um, yeah me too me too and, it's not like and... we want the game to suck <laughs> yeah. no no exactly this is, like, this is my hobby so yeah like and the thing is also like it's it's not that we're that we're saying like oh no the devs did something wrong and they didn't put effort and time into this absolutely mm -hmm. not like even even I don't even though I don't like the concept of a gargoyle wombat, the model does look really good for a gargoyle wombat. I'm not going to go I'm not gonna say that sucks because it looks really good. It's just I would have liked not, a realistic wombat statue a bit more. Yeah, it's just not it's just not for us. And yeah. I'm sure there's a market out there. Yeah. For someone on someone chunky. on Bronation someone on Bronation mentioned like like it's always fun to see like in the coming months to see how people use these pieces creatively, which is definitely True. a thought that's in my head right now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm optimistic regardless. So Christina, we're really looking forward to the font <laughs> that you're yeah. going to make out of the gargoyle <laughs> yeah. um, you, you said you were going to do it, so we're looking forward to it now. It's, it's on the record, it's public. Yes. <laughs> okay, I, th I think we can, we can we kind of said everything that we wanted to say about that because we could go on and go on but mm -hmm. on the other hand it's better to just wait until that we yeah. have the actual DLC Can. and we'll we'll probably talk about it more in the next episode in uh, Goron's episode oh I'm gonna um, have to do something <laughs> yeah you're gonna have to do something with that <laughs> why is there so <laughs> much cool elephant poop? I know we have to turn that off <laughs> no I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I was recovering. I couldn't clean up the elephant poop. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, hey, um, I'm getting thank distracted you all again. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. Um, let us know in the comments what you think about the DLC. If it's something that is specifically for you, and if you really enjoy that, then I'm really happy for you. If uh, you're more like us and want really realistic stuff, Feel free to vent about that in our comment section. It's perfectly fine. Every opinion is appreciated. Um, and I hope we'll get proven wrong. Um, I really do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So see you all next time, everyone. Bye. See you. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Aha!